Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make a lever inside your Portal 2 hammer map. The first thing you're going to want to do is get your entity tool out and type prop static. Place it on the wall. Click on it, go to world model, and type in breaker. And then keep, keep scrolling down until you find this model. Click on it, click apply, and then hook it to the wall. Then you're going to want to type in prop dynamic on your entity tool, place it down, and then you're going to want to type in lever. This model should appear, click apply, and then drag it into the static prop that we made. That will be fine. Um, then the next thing you're going to want to do is click on it. Give it a name. I'll name mine Lever. And then we're going to want to get a no draw brush and we will make it the size, the rough size of our lever. Click on it, press Control T on it, then change it to a funk rotating. After you've done that, we will name this Lever Rotate. Go back to your lever, go to Parent, and parent it to the Lever Rotate. The next thing you're going to want to do is get another no draw brush and I'll make it the size of the circuit box. Then you'll want to um, press control T and then change it to a funk button. Name it something. I will name it lever button. And then you'll want to go to outputs. On pressed, lever, rotate, start. And then you'll want to paste this and then give it a delay. I will give it a delay of one second and then just press stop. And then finally you'll want to paste it again but change lever, rotate to lever, button and change start to kill. That way you can't press it multiple times. And one more thing. You may want to go to your lever rotate and change the direction that it rotates in. Um, this can be kind of difficult to do, but um, you can, if you check Y axis and reverse direction, that's what I found worked for me. So now let's run the map and see if it works. Okay, we're in our map. Here's the lever. It's not aligned properly, but that's fine. And it kind of worked. It went the wrong way, but that is an easy fix. All you need to do is go to the um, funk rotate, and then on flags, you can uncheck reverse direction if it goes into the wall. So now, if we run it, yes, here it is, and we can see that it now works properly. However, it does go into the wall. Um, the problem with that is that the model, I have not aligned it properly, but if you just align it properly, properly it'll work fine that's an easy fix I won't delve into that but now we haven't connected it to anything it doesn't do anything yet so how do we do that well I will get a prop test chamber door for this example I'll place it down here it is I will just rotate it so that it faces us there you go and then I'll just need to name this something. I'll name it door. And then we'll want to go back to the funk button. And then when you'll want to copy paste the, the lever rotate stop. But change lever rotate to your door. 
Oh, wait, I misnamed it, didn't I? Wait, wait, did I not name it? I thought I named it. Okay, well, there we go. You'll want to change it to door, and then it'll change stop to open or whatever you want. It doesn't have to be door. But now, if we go back and run the map again, we can see... Yep, here we are. Here's our door, and here's the lever. And yes, it works. And look, the door opens now. We can walk through it. And we didn't put a frame on it or anything, so it looks kind of strange. But that's fine. The important thing is it works. We can't use it multiple times. It is stuck. And it has proper collision. So yeah. That's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.